you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here is Uriah Faber ready to go for round one. When he was in the WEC, there were a lot of first round finishes, not so much in the big show yet, but in talking to his camp, they believe there's an opportunity for him to get a quick finish tonight. We'll see if that holds true, and Faber can get off to a good start tonight. Nice shot there by the champ. Good body work with that hook by Lee. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Fighting behind a night jab. Faber goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown on the set there. Nothing doing on that attempt. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. And that spinning kick out its home up top. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Body kick is there. Just unable to quite find that range. Big power shot there. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Oh, Unable to connect with the right. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice punch there by Lee. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, roundhouse kick. Just over two minutes to go. Hands high, hands high. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Lands a shot to the leg. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. They were able to secure the takedown there. Seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Under a minute to go. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to fake once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Chef, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Final seconds of round one. Nice level change to the takedown. Oh. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Okay, I need you to start looking for the takedown, okay? Let's get out there, and I want you to put this guy on his back. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. He told us on Thursday the knee strikes would be there. They certainly were in that round. Yeah, because he understood that his opponent would need to pressure him if he was going to have a chance. So even though he's going backwards, he can get that rear knee up and get it to the target and land a really damaging strike. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. All right, next round is underway. He was super active in the previous round, landed a bunch of knees, did a lot of damage. We'll see if he can follow up with more of the same here. It does not take much in terms of how many knees you have to land to really take an effect on your opponent. In that round, we saw him make it a priority, and he landed him at an alarming rate. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, the high kick gets home. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, he has been masterful on the feet this evening, and really his weapon of choice has been that jab. He has had it in his opponent's face all night long. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Nice single. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Print the shirts, ground and pound. And now he's got the bat. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach, I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Fighters separate from the clinch. Less than two minutes now to go. Nice job by Faber defensively there. Oh, a 
effective use of the jab by Faber. Guess the single collar tie now. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Great punch landed with so much power. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It has got to change something. Outstanding kick there by Faber. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, just misses with the kick. 30 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Clean with the right hook. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, As he oh. hit the clinch, lands that punch. Round three next. All right, take a seat. You look spectacular. Your pace, your cardio is fantastic. Keep breathing, stay relaxed, go out there, and let's put that pressure on. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Nice job raising the guard to block the strike, and now counters with a straight punch. So that's a beautiful sequence out of the longer fight. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. Headshot, bang! Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense will be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check him on this. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy 
that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Mm, nice. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. Faber's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Faber. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Close guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side pull. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Faber's in half guard now. Making all these shots count. Faber's back in half guard. Both fighters get up now. Faber's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Just missed with the left there. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Less than a minute to go in the round. Get those combinations. Move those Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Faber gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Back and forth we go. Oh man, that kick looked like it hurt. Faber gets in the clinch. It's messed up really bad. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Good stick. Faber gets caught by the inside leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start taking kicks. Faber gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Press down on his knee. Gets him out. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there, it's right. very... He's having his way with him here. I need you to take control of this Favors back in full now. 
Big ground and pound. All right, feet on the hips here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Missed with that attempt. Front kick to the body by Faber. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, straight punch. Nice combination of kicks there by Faber. Nice kick, yep. Cardio. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Campbell. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Faber is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Beautiful kick there. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, nice jab, nice pick. Lands a nice straight. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 20 seconds left. All right, single collar tie now. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, oh beautiful man, job to get the kick home to the body. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Right. 20 minutes in the books. Great, okay? We've got this fight in the back, but I do not want you to pull off at all. I want you to keep the pressure on, fight smart. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Don't 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Faber just out of range with that jab. Quick jab. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie, locked in tight. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Big right hand. And now a left. Beautiful block there. Nice jab by Lee. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice, good. Keep that Tries to work it into a takedown. Just misses with the right. Oh, he's got a good left hand. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big body kick. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Another nice knee there. Well, he is clearly losing this fight. It has not been his best performance, but he can change all of that with a late submission. He struggled because he hasn't been able to get this fight to the ground. Now he needs to abandon his setup to his takedown, grab his opponent, and try to take him to the floor so he can chase the submission. That was the end. Nice strike. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, man, head to land. Two minutes now to go in this one. Kickboxing 101. Well, you hear that crowd reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more of those. I mean, even us, we're grimacing like, ah, how many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. Nice jab by Faber. Oh, sidekick, well done. Right into a takedown. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Let's go. we got Outstanding away. pressure from top position here by Faber. Mm, that was nice. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Great job, not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Leg kick is there. Heavy kick late from the champ. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough 
to maintain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority.